Hello, grade 3 students! Welcome to our English online class. This is me again, Teacher Stella. So, how's your day? Well, that's good to hear that class. Okay, so before we begin, I want you to say that English is fun. So, for today, we are going to learn how to tell the time. This is a clock. This is a clock. The little hand shows us the hours and the big hand shows us the minutes. When the big hand is pointing to the 12, we say it's a clock. For example, what's the time now? Excellent! It's 5 o'clock. When the big hand is pointing to the 3, we say it's quarter past. Why do we say it's quarter past? Because a quarter of the hour has passed. For example, what's the time? Perfect! It's quarter past five. When the big hand is pointing to the six, we say it's half past because half of the hour has passed. So now it's half past five. And finally, when the big hand is on the nine, we say it's quarter two. But what happens when the big hand isn't on the twelve, the three? the 6 or the 9 well we will count the minutes in fives for example it's 5 past 6 5 past 6 10 past 6 10 past 6 It's quarter past six. It's quarter past six. It's twenty past six. It's twenty past six. Twenty five past six. Twenty five past six. It's half past six. It's half past six. But wait, after half past, it changes. Then we count how many minutes there are before the next hour. So, it's 25 to 7. It's 25 to 7. It's 20 to 7. It's 20 to 7. So, it's quarter to 7. It's quarter to 7. It's 10 to 7. It's 10 to 7. It's 5 to 7. It's 5 to 7. It's 7 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock. So for now, let's have your assignment. For letter A, look at the clock and answer the question. And for the letter B, look at the picture and answer the question. So don't forget to write your name, your class and section, and your number. So that's all for today. I hope you learned from our lesson for today. And we will see you next time for our another exciting English lesson. So don't forget that English is fun. This is Teacher Stella saying goodbye.